You want to... Can you? You want to... Easily open spatial files like SHP, GPX, SDF, KML, drag and drop spatial data to the maps. Gain access to spatial database servers like SQL Server, PostGIS, and WFS. Manage your own shortcuts and data sources. Quickly stylize and manage maps. Spatial Manager Desktop allows you to directly open GIS or spatial data files, including Shape, Autodesk SDF, GPS, GPX, KML, ASCII, and others, from the Data Sources panel or from Windows Explorer. Or, if you want, you can drag and drop these files directly from Windows Explorer to an open map. No complex connections or unnecessary parameters. Spatial Manager Desktop uses its own data providers to access spatial information, also contained in spatial database servers like SQL Server, PostGIS, or WFS. Spatial Manager Desktop allows you to define and to manage your shortcuts and user data sources to easily locate all of your spatial information. With Spatial Manager Desktop, you can stylize your maps in a simple but effective way by changing backgrounds, colors, transparencies, patterns, lines, point styles, or by applying your own graphic symbols. Spatial Manager Desktop uses a different workspace for each open map. You can open as many maps as you like and sort the workspaces as needed. And it has a complete set of right-click tools to manage workspaces for open maps or to open new maps. You want to select and filter spatial features Query your spatial data. Find and replace data. Edit any data and remove unwanted features. Make new layers from selection or queries. Save modified layers or new layers. Working with Spatial Manager Desktop, you can select features using multiple functions and add or remove features from your selection. It is also very easy to filter your selection to a specific layer. Spatial Manager Desktop allows you to query over your spatial data and select features that match your query criteria. You can perform simple or complex queries over the data tables or make spatial queries using a range of geometric conditions. Spatial Manager Desktop includes several tools to modify data in tables and to save the modified layers later. You can perform just one task to change common values in the tables using Find and Replace function. You can also directly edit data in the tables or use multiple edit function for global changes in a particular field of a table. In addition, you can delete from any layer any selected features. Spatial Manager Desktop offers functions for managing new layers that will allow you, for example, to make a new layer including selected or queried features. If desired, you can save that layer using any data provider of the application. You can also save modified layers back to their original locations, and Spatial Manager Desktop will prompt you to save any modified layer if you close a map or the application. You want to open maps even if you move data sources, Import and export spatial data to multiple file formats and spatial feature classes. Transform geometries using your favorite coordinate systems. Reuse your data in Office or CAD applications. Easily print only what you need. Spatial Manager Desktop adds smart functions to locate the data sources of your maps even if these sources have changed. Have you moved a lot of spatial files to another folder? 
no problem. Tell the application where to find the source of one of the changed layers and Spatial Manager Desktop will locate the rest of the layers automatically. The same happens if you modify sources included in schemas in a spatial database. You can also edit a shortcut or a user data source for changes in the locations of the sources. Many of the main functions of Spatial Manager Desktop are designed to enable you to convert spatial data between different formats. You can export all features in any existing new or changed layer, or any selected features. You can also export all features directly from any data source, even if it is not loaded on a map, or import features into data sources that may contain various feature classes. In these processes, you can define any connection or configuration parameter for the target of exported or imported data. When you run any export or import process, you can define the data coordinate systems of the source and the target to make a geometric transformation between these systems. Spatial Manager Desktop lets you have a list of favorite coordinate systems or use its smart search system over the table containing thousands of coordinate systems used around the world. Spatial Manager Desktop advantages do not end within the application itself. You have several systems to use your data inside other applications. For example, you can export the data you're interested in to data tables or copy the map or features in the map to the Windows clipboard as an image or vector format. In this way, you can reuse your spatial data in Office or CAD applications such as tables, images, or vector objects. Quickly print from Spatial Manager Desktop only what you need. A display view, map extents, an area of the map, or you can even print only selected features. You want to automate processes using tasks. Enjoy the benefit of your data source parameters to easily define sources and targets for spatial data. Also run tasks in the command line. Program batch processing for repetitive or chain tasks. Spatial Manager Desktop allows you to define tasks to automate the execution of export and import processes. The task window displays all the tasks stored in your system and organized according to your preferences. As in the direct processes of exporting or importing, it is sufficient to define the source data, the target data, and its possible parameters to specify the optional coordinate system transformation and save the task with a name. When you need to repeat an export or import process, just select the corresponding task and run it. Using the user data sources of Spatial Manager Desktop, you can not only define the access to spatial data contained in database servers, but you can also define a particular access to a spatial data file that includes possible parameter settings. Thus, when you define a task and reference a user data source, these parameters are read from the user data source itself. You do not need to constantly repeat settings for frequently used files. If you wish, you can run Spatial Manager Desktop tasks from the command line. Simply enter the name of the task as a parameter. You can also use wildcards in the name of the task to run multiple tasks in a single command. Spatial Manager Desktop will inform you about the successfully executed tasks and the possible errors or warnings that may occur along the processes. By applying the execution of tasks on the command line, you can program in a very simple way batch processes for cases when you need to run repetitive sequences of tasks or chained task execution, whose sources can be the targets of previous tasks. Yes, you can. Spatial Manager Desktop. It does what you want.